everyone welcome to this update video i hope you're doing really great this morning and so we're gonna be getting straight into what is going on across the atlantic so a few older systems out there we can see some activity along the intertropical convergence zone as well and uh, that is where trade winds of the north and south meet and when they do we sometimes see activities such as this happening especially as we head towards summer but that low pressure system is developing in parts of the u.s and as we zoom into the gulf here we can see all this thunderstorm activity pushing off to the east so this is going to be uh bringing the threat of some severe weather across parts of florida including the keys so a message from the storm prediction center says Thunderstorms associated with wind damage, hail, and isolated tornado threat will be possible this evening across parts of the Florida Keys. A marginal severe threat is also expected across parts of South Florida and the central to eastern Gulf Coast. So this system is going to be moving through uh, as we head throughout the day and eventually for the Bahamas as well. There is going to be a higher rainfall chance likely to be thunderstorms moving through as well with this system. So most of this is offshore right now, but it uh, it is pushing off to the east and uh, may bring the aforementioned threats. So going to the Caribbean, though, we can see that much is not really uh, going on right now. A few showers moving in from the east. And uh, as we're going to be heading through today, this is a look at the rainfall forecast so take a look at those shadings of purples and those pinks as well toward florida so some of the rainfall amounts through today could be up to four even five inches within some areas in south florida and that could bring along with it some flash flooding so there could be flooding induced by that uh, all that activity that's going to be making its way through eventually for the bahamas but this is for uh, the rest of today maybe into very very early tomorrow morning so the bahamas will also experience a lot of that rainfall and thunderstorm activity and winds are certainly going to be kicking up as well parts of western cuba may also experience some shower activity today uh, a few spots in Jamaica here and there, Turks and Caicos Islands, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and through parts of the Lesser Antilles. But nothing crazy is expected. However, we see that things are a little bit drier for Trinidad, as well as the ABC Islands, and of Venezuela, parts of the Guyanas, and most of Central America. So things will be a little bit on the drier side, but elsewhere there could be a passing shower. So as we head throughout the day but it's likely to be very windy so this is the look at uh the wind forecast for later this morning and we can see some of these blue shadings popping up so some of these winds could be uh, up to 30 not some of those darker blue shadings up to 30 35 knots or so so there could be tropical storm like conditions in florida as the system is going to be making its way through will also be very windy across the bahamas winds up to 20 knots or so potentially with higher gusts and as we're going to be heading into tonight gusts are going to get even stronger potentially up to 45 miles per hour or so winds are going to be kicking up across much of the region it's not going to be a very very calm day maybe for a few areas but for most areas it's likely to be windy now let's look at what models are forecasting so this is what gfs has to show the green yellow orange red shadings they indicate the precipitation rate and there we have the forecast time so as we're going to be heading into tonight and going to early tomorrow morning this is what we could see that airflow pressure could be uh, over the vicinity of Georgia and South Carolina, and we see all that activity moving through. Eventually, this is going to be moving offshore, but uh, much of the activity associated with it is likely to remain north of the Caribbean, although there could be some showers across some of the northern islands. Euro is showing something similar as we head into late tonight, early tomorrow morning. We see all that activity moving through. And uh, as we're going to be heading into around midday tomorrow, we see a lot of this rainfall activity across the Bahamas, the northern Bahamas, parts of Cuba as well. Eventually headed to Sunday, we can see some of this rain make its way within the vicinity of Jamaica. Now at first, models were showing more rainfall for Jamaica, but now recently uh, they have been keeping much of this activity to the north of Jamaica. So hopefully there's going to be some well-needed downpours here because it's been very dry in some areas. So we would do very well with some rainfall activity. 
As we're going to be heading into Monday, we see the system, that low pressure area, low turn up there offshore the east coast, and uh, some of the activity associated with that frontal system, low turn in the northeastern Caribbean. So that is what the models are showing, guys. We see some sort of agreement here, and uh, I'll be keeping you guys posted on all that is happening. So uh, that is pretty much it for this update video, and I really hope that you found it to be very informative. However, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.